Today I'm going to do this sketchy effect which I've done using both a dope capture and eye colorama. So this is the end result but I'll show you I, I can never resist trying other things afterwards. So this is what I've done as well. Once I've done that sketchy effect I took it into brush stroke and I did this one and then I took it into trigraphy. Uh, and I think this is actually my favorite. So although uh, my intention was to do this pencil effect, I quite like that one that I did in trigraphy. Right, let's go back and start off with the Adobe Capture. And I use this quite a lot. I use it on my phone and I actually use it out in the street. So I put on the shapes and with my camera, I actually go out and I, I look at different views and I see what looks good but you can also take a photo that is on your camera roll which is what I'm going to do now so here's the interface and if you look at the top there's a square and this is where you go to your camera roll and I'm going to choose this photograph then you've got the slider at the bottom and this is what enables you to add more or less lines and I want to add a little bit more because I want her hair to be dark and I want to actually see some of those buildings and I really like the pattern on her dress. So let's turn it up to about there. Maybe a little bit down. Once you're happy with what you've got you can press the button. And at this point, you can decide to erase some of the lines if you want to. So if I just run my finger over, you'll see some of it grays out and that will no longer be in the photograph. But I, actually, I'm happy with those lines. I'm going to go at the bottom to select and I'm going to pull those back in. Now if you want to take them out, instead of sort of just seeing them deselected, if you want to erase them, then you choose at the bottom the erase and then you just erase the shape. That's quite good really because then that shows you exactly what you have or haven't got. But again, I'm going to go back to select. Oops. Okay. So once you've erased them, they're gone. Fine. Let's carry on. Next. It then creates a much smoother version and you can make it even smoother than that by putting smooth on and in some cases that is great but I think in this case it really smooths it a bit too much so I'm going to go to off and then it's next at the top and you can give it your shape and name I'm not going to bother and I'm going to say save shape and once you save the shape you can then go back into it by just tapping it and at the bottom you've got the share and you can save the image and that will save it to your camera roll. Now what I actually did with this image which I haven't taped is that I went in and I, I didn't like her lips, they were rather strange. so. I took away a lot of her face, but we'll see what I had when I get to the next stage. So this is the photograph and I took it into Procreate and I sort of put in a little nose and removed the mouth because I think it looked a lot better. In the next section, it's a pre-recording which I did in iColorama, so I'll have to do a narration over it. So you'll have to bear with me if it's not the best. So here we are in iColorama and I go to Artist Brush and I choose the twelfth brush which is called Pen and I use a single brush which is the first brush. I turn up the size and I just go through the over the photograph and bring it up with this sort of scratchy, sketchy effect going over the whole photograph. Next I reduce the size and again fill in a little bit more detail. I want to bring out some of those uh, black pieces. So 
So I save it. And then I notice near the face, the lines are going into the face. So I choose the clone brush clone tool and I grab some of the uh, sky and I just remove those lines, which I find a little bit distracting close to the face. So that's what I often do with the clone tool. I actually use it as a, a sort of a clean-up tool. Now I'm bringing back the original photograph and I'm doing my uh, simplification that I often do. Up the saturation and up the lightness, the gamma. Reduce the opacity slightly. And I save this. And then again, I'm going to use the clone tool because I don't like the fluffy bit uh, at the top of her hair. So I grab pieces of the sky and I move it across over the top part of her hair. Save this. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to blend over the top the scratchy photograph. So I'm going through some of the options, but uh, I think screen was the one I chose. And I'm saving that. Then again, one of my favorites going to high and trying out some of those options. And now I'm going through and I'm going to try a couple of colors. And I'm going to show you different options of, of how you can change the color of your photograph. So this is under tone, trying uh, Lomo and Duotone and Pastel. And I think this is one that I settled for was one of the Pastel ones. Again, changing the sliders, trying the opacity, trying the gamma or lightness and the contrast, and that's the one that I save. Just for interest's sake, I'm going through a couple more. Now I choose LUTs. Um, what I want to do is I'm looking for a brown so that I can replace some of the buildings in the background with the brown. And also if I can find a good color combination which does it for me. So there's the brown and I actually save this one because I bring back bits of the brown into the photograph. Now I bring back my original blue photograph and blend it over the top. So I choose a brush, reduce the opacity, and I choose the first brush and the single first brush. I zoom in and I go to the buildings at the back. So I'm using the brush to get rid of the top layer, the blue from the top layer. I'm also bringing back a little bit of her face there, which looks a bit too grey. I'm going to go down to the bottom and clear out some of the, the deck of the yacht.
I then change to the Erase tool so I can remove or, or bring back some of those um, posts. Now I want to reduce the strength of the uh, brush. I do a little bit more cleaning up and then I'm pretty much finished and I save it and that's it.